Today I'm going to show you how to install, uh, well, actually not really install, but run uh, CPM inside the modern uh, virtual machine. So let's get started. First, we need to find a suitable uh, CPM uh, disk. And we are going to look for it on the archive.org website. I've already searched here for uh, CPM86. Why? Because uh, 86 stands for x86, which is the architecture normally used in uh, modern computers. So if you have a laptop with uh, Windows like I do, then uh, you are probably uh, having an x86 CPU. So uh, you really need uh, CPM86 if you want to run uh, in a modern virtual machine. Otherwise, you can use an emulator and I do have a number of uh, videos about running CPM inside an emulator. So, uh, if uh, you look for CPM86 on archive.org and uh, you scroll, uh, at some point you would see uh, CPM86 by Digital Research. I already have it here. Uh, I'm going to place a link in uh, the description of the video so you can get it directly from there. But in any case, uh, what you need to download is this uh, so-called uh, ISO uh, image. Okay, So uh, you should download it. I already uh, have it downloaded. So I have it here. But uh, even though it says uh, ISO image, it's actually an IMG file. And you notice this is uh, 160 kilobytes. Yeah, so it's not even one megabyte, it's 160 kilobytes. And soon we'll see what this uh, IMG uh, means. So now I'm going to open this uh, Oracle uh, virtual box, which allows us to create uh, easily uh, virtual machines. I've already uh, pressed on a new virtual machine. So I'm going to give it a name, uh, let's say CPM86. So this is just any name that you want. It has here uh, the folder where it's going to be stored. I'll leave it as it is. Uh, and it says here ISO image. And now if I select other and go to my downloads folder where I have CPM86, well, uh, it does not show here. And why? Because uh, actually uh, it's an IMG and not an ISO. So what this means is that it's not actually an image for uh, DVD or CD because ISO is an image for uh, either a CD or DVD or maybe Blu-ray or some uh, modern uh, usually optical storage device. However, the IMG that we downloaded, it's actually an image for a floppy disk. Okay, and uh, we do not have here an option for this. So <clears throat> let's see what else is in here. Well, type, obviously it's not Microsoft Windows. I'm just going to select other uh, version, uh, just other unknown. Okay, uh, so it says here, no ISO images selected. The guest OS will need to be installed manually. Okay, so let's click next. Now the base memory, uh, it's 64 megabytes selected, but that's actually uh, too much for us. Just going to select the minimum four megabytes. Processors, one CPU, okay. Uh, so next. Create a virtual hard disk now. Uh, well, actually we do not need at this moment a virtual hard disk, so do not add virtual hard disk. And let's click finish. 
okay it says warning because we are going to create a virtual machine without a hard disk okay continue and we have a very simple uh, virtual machine here so now I'm going to click on settings and uh, what we have here we have for example USB uh, we do not need this one uh, we have network well uh, we do not need this one either but you can also leave it on uh, we do not need audio uh, uh, storage uh, it's empty display system where we have here uh, boot order uh, floppy and we want to boot only for from the floppy so i'm going to disable the others uh, okay and uh, now for the storage i'm just going to add <coughs> So I'm going to add a floppy drive controller and uh, it says here floppy, that's okay. And uh, now here uh, I'm going to add uh, the CPM86 image. In my case, it's already present here because I've uh, tested already the virtual machine. Uh, but uh, of course you can add this image uh, you select it from here uh, it shows here and now I'm going to choose uh, this one okay so now what we have we have a floppy disk controller with uh, the CPM86 image attached so I'm just going to click OK and now I'm going to start the machine going to maximize it okay uh, you can also uh, press on uh, scaled mode here okay and now uh, you have your uh, virtual machine which already booted CPM 86 so it's CPM 86 for the IBM personal computer version 1.0 uh, the year 1982 uh, by digital research uh, we have a diskette uh, we do not show anything else and we can see memory uh, it's only using 127 uh, kilobytes of memory okay and uh, now we can run uh, CPM commands like uh, dear uh, start and so on and I have a number of uh, videos about uh, using uh, CPM so uh, you should probably watch those to learn more about the CPM commands okay so thank you for watching and uh, I hope you enjoy running CPM in a modern virtual machine so see you next time bye